And uh, today I'm gonna show you guys some of the basics of how to start your first model in a uh, model engine. Start your own business or earn some money instead of paying someone to do this, like me. Um, <laughs> uh, starting up the list, you will need Blockbench. Once you get the, the program, the Bedrock model, I think you can use open any one, but I would always suggest using Bedrock. So now uh, the first thing I'll do here on name or character or model we wanna do, now make sure that on UV mode, it um, box UV instead you select per face and for texture size, I got no idea. It's really up to you, but I would usually suggest 128 for 128. That's the textures I use for models on my server. If anyone uh, for EOT is watching this, and these are the sizes we need. So once you confirm, you're gonna start with the modeling, but I already have a model, super simple tiger I made. So now the first thing you'll know uh, when you're gonna make a model is uh, you need to know the differences between a cube and a bone. Now, cubes are the shapes of your model, like of what your, you know, the model consists of just cubes all put together in a nice shape and a nice texture, and that's what it is. Bones are a collection of cubes put inside a folder and that folder is, is a bone, basically. It's usually limbs, head, a tail, or it can be a hand, this is a left leg, and we got a sub bone, which is left leg low. So if we move this one, as you can see, uh, and if we move the, the big one, which is the one attached, um, the sub bone will rotate as well. If we take uh, the sub bone out of the, of the folder, and you know, let's put it here, and we try to rotate, let's say the left leg, it's not gonna rotate anymore with, uh, with, uh, with the lower part, you see. Now, when creating your model, there are a few restrictions, sadly. So a cube can only be rotated uh, within one axis at the same time. So, you know, like this. Which means that once you rotate it on X, you can't rotate it neither on Y or Z. So, uh, rotations are only allowed within a 22.5 interval. So, and, and also the max cube size is uh, 112 per 112 per 112. So, so now when it comes to the bone, you can, you can rotate a bone in all axes at the same time. So like this and that, you know, the, the interval, there's no interval like 22.5. You can rotate it on just anything. This bone here, you know, this bone has to be inside 112 and 112 boundary. Now note as well, um, you know, here we got the units for size. Now it's 16 equals uh, one cube's uh, length in Minecraft. You're done with all the modeling. Make sure that all the pivot points are at the right position. Each bone has a pivot point, which you can select by pressing P on your keyboard or you go on the top of your select tool section and you select pivots. Now pivot is what determines how your bone will rotate. You know, his position is usually between the side of your bone attached to another one, the net of the starting of the neck and at the beginning of you know the, the shoulders. So in this case, it's right in between. In the head, you can see, same applies for the limbs. I have the torso, which is usually here in between and in the middle. So now you can rotate and so on. You gotta do that as well with a sub bone. So here I'm gonna select the left arm and with the left lower arm, and I will put that right in between, you know, the knee and uh, the upper part of the, the leg. So now outside of your bone, so we're gonna close the torso, we're gonna create this uh, a new folder called hitbox. And this cube here will determine the hitbox range for your model. Because you can see it's 25 and 25. As long as length and wide are the same, as length can be anything. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. Now, once you got the right size to the left side of your screen, I click on the texture and you will select transparent. Bottom on the bucket tool and you will select apply to all faces. This will make sure that it's gonna be transparent on all, all sides. And the last eye vision. It's gonna determine when, you know, if you know if the character the model is looking at is taller than him, he's gonna look up uh, upwards. And if it's small, it's gonna look down. Hitbox bone and you will go back to the pivot point. Pivot must be on the same level of his eyes. And uh, I think that just sums up how to make a model in model engine. 